So we've come into San Savan as it's such a lovely day. I shall try and do a better vlog. It doesn't move quite so much, which the Christmas lights one did. I'm using the gimbal. It's supposed to smooth everything out. We'll see. That's my man. not to fall down the steps. Oh, it's quite bright, that sun. I was wondering where all these logs came from, but they must have come from that tree. I don't remember what that was. It must be a horse chestnut tree, because all the others in the square are. Let me take your arm, not to help you down the steps, but to help me down the steps. Take it away. No. Thank you. So we're walking down to the river. The Garton, and we'll walk around the back of the abbey and under the new bridge and up onto the old bridge. That sound like a plan? Still. Yeah. Across the new bridge and back, back across the old one. I prefer the other route. See, of course, you. Nice picture of the bins. Step down. Yep. That is a restaurant and a hotel recently took them years didn't it how many years did that take to refurbish talking to myself now it's an expensive restaurant we were going to try it but i keep looking at the menu and thinking i don't want to eat that it's a beautiful building So this side of the river is San Savan, and the other side of the river, across that bridge, is Saint Germain. And interestingly, this side of the river, boat more centrist and left, and the other side of the river, a more right wing. I really don't understand that. I mean. There's just a river and a bridge dividing them, but there's quite a big political divide as well. He's doing his coat, oh, I hope he's doing his coat up. Oh, he's getting his camera, he's got his camera with him. So this is the back of the abbey. I've been waiting for a day like this to be able to show you this, because it just looks so beautiful against the blue sky. This is the back of the abbey, and the um, this would have been the monks' quarters. It's sort of empty now. I'm just about to see the spire over there. This is um, we play ball here at the back. Some days they play it out the front as well, but. There, out here also. The typical French health and safety thing, no railings here.
Well, I hope this isn't as shaky as my Christmas lights vlog. You won't know because you didn't see that. There's another tree at the end there that's been had all its branches taken off. It was a big, um, I think it was a big evergreen. I wouldn't know what evergreen, but it's it's that it's standing next to the main road, so it obviously became something that needed sorting out. It's um, 10 degrees and when we were out yesterday it was zero. A big change in the weather. The wind's coming from the southwest and um, This rain forecast I think not for not for today thankfully it's lovely to be out in this sun and blue sky I think there's rain forecast for Christmas Day certainly gonna over be overcast tomorrow that's a holiday home the old mill house there. I think it belongs to this car. The car that's parked outside is um, in summer is has German plates on it. I think there used to be a massive willow tree on this end wall, which um, was taken down by a storm one year. comes the photographer. The thing about this, it's so photogenic that we have loads of photos because every time I see it, I want to stop and take a photo. I guess you would too. It's like, it is absolutely stunning, especially in this light. Very lucky to live here. I have to watch where I'm walking. I haven't been and there's a Dog, dog turds. Nice. So that's the main road there. You follow that main road, eventually, you'll eventually ar arrive in Poitiers. If you follow it that way, that takes you to Le Blanc. And I can't think, oh, um, ultimately that would be the direction you take for Mont Luçon. And if you wanted to head down to the Auvergne, Puy de Dôme, Clermont Ferrand, all of those places. There's a woman coming along behind Mark with a mask on. I'm sure that we don't have to wear them when we're outside. We did have to at one point, but um, I'm sure that we're not meant to have to do that because as you can see, there's nobody around really. So you're now getting a glimpse of the old Toll Bridge. Always makes a nice photo here. You know, you get to a certain point where um, you can get, you know, the arch of the new bridge with the toll bridge underneath it. I'm going to wait for Mark so I don't fall down the steps. is a bit dodgy down here if you go first mark i can put my hand on your shoulder if that's okay huh? i won't push you off <laughs> just trying to work out where to hang on to you really go on ow 
Go on, you can go. I can hold on to the wall now. This gets flooded here when the river is in full flood. We can't come down here because this path disappears. in that sky. People still travelling. Obviously nobody gave them the memo about the pandemic. Cool. That wind's a bit brisk behind me. I wish I'd got my um, other boots on, really. Oh. Oh. I'm limping a bit in these. Can't turn around too far because that is really bright. The sun reflecting on the river. Dazzle you. I know I'm dazzling you with my vlogs, but that's a different thing. I'm going to go round, I'm going to go round this way, see what the photographer's taking a photo of. When we um, were looking for houses back in 2006, this house along the end here was for sale. It wasn't too much more expensive than the house we ended up, you know, the house we're in. Um, but it's got no garden with it. It's just the house. It was the toll house for the bridge. and. Um, the only bit of land around it is this grass, but it's not, it doesn't belong to the house. Quite like it, I don't know what it's like inside, but it f when it floods here, this floods. Um, I'm not sure how high I've seen it, but I think the water has gone at least two thirds of the way up this concrete. Um, whatever you might call it, concrete, hard standing driveway or whatever. But I've seen the water three quarters of the way up here. When my daughter moved here, we rented her a flat just up there behind that car, just around the corner. It's a ground floor apartment that had been a dentist, I think. She was there for a while. I think they're going to be walking into the sun. That's a shame. You see all the mistletoe on those trees over there?
a water tower over there in the distance. They're called Chateau d'Eau water castles. Castles of water. trees in this field here. Uh, they were, weren't they? You'd never know. So there were a load of trees in this field here, which they, yeah, which they took down and what they've done is, is replanted and put a plantation here. And what I understand about these plantations of poplar trees is that they're planted when a baby's born the daughter, I think, the um, family plant them when the daughter's born and then they harvest them when the daughter's going to get married um, and use the money from the harvest to pay towards the wedding. That's what I understand. I'm going to stop in a minute. Once we get down here, there's a really lovely view of the Abbey. Then I'm going to stop. Um, Hopefully we're going to be walking back because my feet hurt. There we go. That's what you see when you drive into, into San Savan. And after 16 years, I'm still in awe of it whether you can see the moon over there. And on that note, I'll finish. That's nearly 20 minutes. I hope the sound quality was okay and the picture wasn't too jerky.